Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Now, after the massive, well, I say massive, kind of, you know, small success of the last curve path tutorial, I thought, why not? Let's make another curve path tutorial, but this time, uh, show you more ways on how to use the dark ride to make more interesting sort of curves and different stuff with your paths. Now, as you can see from behind me, I have six different ways that you can use the paths right here from just a simple turn all the way up to an inner curve right there. So today I'll be teaching you how to build these six different types of curved paths using the dark ride so that you can use them in your own parks and you know create some more interesting types of paths. So let's just get on with it starting with an inner curve. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use concrete paths which you can just find in your paths right here. I'm just going to place one of these down, remove the curbs because the curbs make this a lot harder and I'm going to color it this light gray right here. Although you can use whichever material you want, you can use whichever color you want and that'll still work as I show you a little bit later. Now for this inner curve, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do mine a 4x4 arrow, which is what I'm going to use for every single one of these here. So I'm just going to place a path right here and place a path right here, which we're going to connect up, obviously. So what we're going to do here then, guys, is obviously this works with the dark ride. You could also use the vintage car ride. It's a slightly cheaper ride, but I like to just use the dark ride. I don't know. It's just what I'm used to, I guess. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to place it on top of our path right here. And then we're going to use just a curve right here. Now keep in mind that if you're trying to do a bigger curve, you can also go into your advanced editor right here. And if you just snap length and snap rotate uh, to 45 degrees here, uh, you can then rotate it here. That'll rotate 90 degrees. And then you can just extend it until it connects up like that. And you can build it like that. Now that basically does the exact same thing as what I was about to do there with the basic editor, except from, well, if you've got a bigger turn, it obviously works a little bit better. Now to make sure this is the right color, we're going to color everything the right color. So there we go, color one and color two is gonna change like that. And then of course, we're gonna chuck in all our paths. Now for this one, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna chuck in an L right here. So basically all the paths that you need is just gonna be in an L like this. And there you go, you've got your lovely inner curve right there. Now the next one that I'm going to show you here is a lovely S bend. You can see it over here. It is basically basically just a little S bend like this, almost like I guess you could call it a little squiggle. So let's show you how to do this one. Now for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck down a path right here and a path right here in our 4x4 area, which by the way, I forgot to mention this, but if you would like, you can lay down your area like this. I'm just using concrete and ice like that next to each other, just to make it a kind of a checkerboard pattern. You can follow along that like that. But obviously, you can also, you know, uh, do it, you know, just do it on your grass. It doesn't matter. It depends on how good you are at the game. If you're a little bit worse at the game, then of course, feel free to just, you know, build a bit of a checkerboard pan. It makes it a lot easier to follow this tutorial, of course. So what we're going to do is, as always, we're going to take our dark ride right here. Now, I'm just going to straight up copy it just because it's a little bit easier for me to do right here. And I want it to go start here and go like that. So we're going to place our dark ride right here. Now, the way that I do it is that where you want the, the curve or whatever to start you place it before that so we're gonna place it like this and we're gonna do a basic editor like that and go into here and I'm just going to use a long chicane right or an S bend as it's also called although once again you can also go into here turn your auto smooth to off drag it out do this like that actually you might want to turn snap rotate off here but you can just connect it up like so it does the exact same thing as you know obviously uh, just building it in in basic editor but if you've got a bit of a wider, you know, turn or anything like that, then of course you can use this instead. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in the remainder like this. Uh, now, obviously, if you place a path right here, it's going to look like this. And that's not what we want. So we're going to remove that, actually. And we're just going to go into our scenery, come into our primitives, and we're going to just use this primitive cuboid right here. Of course, depending on your curve, it's going to be a little bit different. But for this one, we're just going to use this right here. Uh, now we're going to make sure that we're in uh, our precision build is enabled. We're just going to go into horizontal snapping default, vertical snapping default, and everything else default. And then we're just going to click this in here. Now once we're in here, we're going to go into here and on our move snapping, we're going to change our custom snapping to 0.95, just like that. And just bring that down like so. Now you can see that 0.95 is pretty damn close. In fact, actually, I think it's perfect, and you can't even see there's even a little bit of a difference right there. It looks pretty nice, pretty, pretty flat, and there you go, there's an S bend. So next, guys, we're going to do an outer curve. Now, this one's very similar to our inner curve, except from we're going to be doing it the opposite way, and I'm just going to show you just this, just in case, you know, you don't quite understand it, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Now, I'm going to be doing mine from the bottom left right here. Sorry, I just need to disable precision build mode there. And from the, uh, uh, to the top right right here, although, of course, do it whatever size you want. 
Now, again, we're going to grab our Dark Ride right here. We're going to place it right here because this is before where I want the curve to start. And we're just going to place that in. And then I'm just going to use a basic editor right here. Although, once again, if you want, you can use your advanced editor. And you can bring this round here. Sorry, I need to turn Snap Rotate onto 45 here. And you can bring this one round. Uh, make sure Full Smooth is on there. And you could drag this over like this. And if you really want to, you might need to bring it just a little bit more like that. And there you go. That now connects up. But obviously, again, you can still use your basic editor if you don't quite understand how the advanced editor works. That's completely fine. And then we're just going to chuck a square of paths in like so there. And of course, just like we did on our S bend. In fact, let's just go into primitives right here. We're going to grab our primitive cube ball right here. Make sure everything's on default. And make sure that you have a precision build mode enabled. And then make sure that your your snapping is 0 0.95 and then you can just drag that down like so click the x right there to come out and then we're just going to place that there and drag it down like so and then don't forget to color it and there you go oh i did not mean to do that oops sorry about that guys we just need to paint that back there and there you go there is your outer curve so next year i'm going to show you how to put your paths at a 45 degree angle so again we're going to grab one of our paths now i'm just going to place one path like this because a 45 degree angle is a little bit hard to show on such a small area but we're just going to place one like so and then what we're going to do is bring our dark ride like we've done everywhere else place it right here and then on here we want to make sure everything's on auto smooth full and all that sort of stuff and our snap rotate is to 22.5 degrees right now now i'm going to do my uh turn at a two block thingy right this although of course drag that out and short as much as you want right here although i'm going to have ours about that like that and we're just going to turn it one like that and there you go, people. You've got your turn right there. I'm just going to bring mine out to there. Of course, you might want to bring this in. Uh, like, you know, you might want to bring this out like so. And then you might want to bring that back like so. But that's completely up to you. For now, though, I'm just going to show you how to do this 45 degree turn. Now, don't forget to get rid of your station piece right there. And then you can fill it in your paths like so. So we're just going to go all the way up there like so. And of course, we've got a little gap. So we're just going to go into our primitives, get a primitive cuboid. I might as well call it before here just to make this a bit easier. And then we're going to place that in there. Oh, sorry. We're going to put precision build mode on first. Then we're going to just drag that down with a 0.95 custom snapping. And there you go. That's now filled in. And there's your 45 degree angle turn. So next, what I'm going to show you how to do here is a double 90 degree turn right here. You can see it's kind of like an S bend, but a bit sharper because it goes 90 degree and then 90 degree again. So as always, people, we're going to start off with by, by chucking a couple paths in. So I'm going to have mine start here. Uh, just remember to turn precision build mode off. And we're going to end it right here. So you can see what we're going to do is we're going to place in our dark right here because I want our, my curve to start around here. So we're going to place that in like so. Then we're just going to use this small turn right there and this small turn right here. Now, once again, as I've said about a thousand times, instead of using the basic editor, if you want to do a bit of a bigger turn that you can't do with the basic editor, of course, feel free to use the advanced editor like this. Just set your snapping to, what, uh, to the right rotation that you want. And there you go, guys. You've got your turn right there. So we're just going to remember to get rid of our station right there. And then, of course, fill in all our paths like so. Remembering that you are going to have a couple little clips out like that. So if you wanted to get it perfect, what you want to do here is we're not going to actually place that in there because we want to get this perfect here just so I can show you guys that. So we're going to get our primitive cuboid right here. We're going to remember to put precision build mode on. I always forget that. And then we're going to drag this down by 0 0.95 like so. And then same over here. We're going to get this, drag it down by 0 0.95. And then this one's going to be slightly different because we want to get our slightly thicker cuboid. And bring that down with a 0 0.95 degree snapping like so. And remember to just color everything like that. And there you go. You've got your lovely not a double 90 degree turn right there. Now, the final one here is one that's probably going to be quite helpful here because a lot of people like to do these sort of circles and stuff like that. And now actually a little bit different to what we normally do right here. We're going to use our dark ride straight away here without placing any paths. And we're just going to place in a dark ride like so. Now, again, I'm going to use the basic editor just because it's a lot easier when you're doing this sort of stuff. And most of the time, you'll need these circles to be smaller anyway. But if you want to do a bigger circle, that's not the end of the world. So you can still use this to do like a massive circle like that. Or as always, you can use the advanced editor. But I'm just going to use the basic one here. Just make sure that this is equal. So we're just going to place four ones like that. Now, if you don't have disabled collisions, you can just go back and break it like that. Although this one will be very hard without disabled collisions. I will show you how to do this without disabled collisions in just a second guys don't worry about that i'll show you how to use disable collisions with this but right now i just want to show you obviously how to do this first so as you can see right here we've got our now our complete circle and then we want to use our paths whatever paths we're using and then we're just going to 
You know, we're going to have to turn precision build mode off. And we're just going to place those all the way around in a square like so. And there you go. I mean, in the middle right here, you could add a tree or you could add a planter or you could add a fountain or whatever you want right there. That's completely up to you, of course. But this one's quite a helpful one because, you know, it's very nice if you've got a big blank area to split it with some nice planters or a tree or something like that. Now, something that I obviously wanted to mention, like I just said, is if you've got disabled collisions, obviously you won't be able to do this. Now, the way to fix that here is that if we just get rid of our paths on this one, for example, here... We're just going to get rid of all our paths, like so. Now, obviously, this won't look as good, so I recommend you don't do this. But if we just go here and make our brush a little bit bigger on our terrain and just delete the terrain around this circle right here, you can see it's now obviously floating. But what we can now do is go into our primitives and then we can just place these in. So make sure it's on a default snapping, precision build mode off, and everything else is default. And then you can just click shift right here to keep the height. And you can just place these around, which you should hopefully be able to do without disabled collisions right here. Obviously, I don't know because I, I'm not great with disabled collisions and stuff like that. But that should now work. And then if you want to obviously have guests walk around here, you can obviously put your paths around. And although it's not going to look great because you will have a slight lip right here, it will work with disabled collisions and it's probably the best you're going to get. And now, of course, as I said before, you can do whatever you want right here. If you want in the middle, you can add some grass in like so and have a nice little planter or something like that. But that's completely up to whatever you want to do. Now, something else that I quickly want to go through here before we finish off is obviously I've been doing everything in gray concrete right here. What if you want to change your colors? So I'm just going to show you here. Obviously, if the problem is, is with this dark ride is that you can't actually change the material right here. You can only change the color, which is why I've used concrete right here because that normally works the best although you can obviously change your stuff so say that we want to do a brick right here we're going to do maybe a red brick like so we can just color all of our brick like this and then on our ride we can just go over it like this in the same color and obviously it's uh, oh, oh, remember to do both of them the same color as well I, I don't forget that and obviously it's not going to look the world's best thing right here with bricks for example what i do is maybe try and make it a little bit lighter like this because then it matches the brick color a little bit better but that's just because obviously the bricks is a bit of an uh, a bit of a weird color right here but obviously that's completely up to you you can work that out yourself of course it depends on what color path you want and what you want to do here it's completely up to you but that's it for today's tutorial guys i hope you've enjoyed it you know if you want to see another one of these with maybe primitives or image panels or some other way to make paths rather than just this or even if you want to see more different things that you can do with the dark ride here to make more paths then please you know leave a like down below i'd say if we maybe hit 100 likes on this video let's you know aim big aim big if we hit 100 likes on this video i will do another one one of these tutorials right here um so yeah guys make sure to leave a like comment down below here are all the lovely patreon switch subscribers and discord server boosters up on the screen right now thank you very much for supporting me of course you can become a patreon at patreon.com slash cozy or you can become a discord server booster on my discord or you can of course uh, so you subscribe on twitch and support me through that but except from that guys hope you've enjoyed this video of course leave a like all that sort of stuff check out all my channels and all my links down below and except from that guys i'll see you all in another video goodbye